In this video, we're going to work out number three. What is the graph of the solution set for the following system? Okay, I'm going to write it down again over here. So we have y less than or equal to 3x minus 4, and we have y greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 1. So first note that we have uh, less than or equal to and greater than or equal to. So both lines should be solid. But if you look at all of the choices, all of the lines are already solid, so there's no issue there. So I'm quickly just going to draw what's over there in the, in the choices. So we have one line like this, and then one line looks something like this. Okay, so how do you figure out which line is which? Well, what you can do is you can look at the slope. So this line here has a positive slope, right? Remember, mx plus b. So m is 3. So this is this line because it's going up, right? This line here is going up, so it has a positive slope, right? And this one has a negative slope, okay? So that must be this yellow line right here. So it's going down, right? It's going down. So I'm going to go ahead and write it. This is y equals negative 2x minus 1. So the first thing you want to do is identify the slope. And you can do that without writing anything down, right? This one's going up. So this has the positive slope. This one's going down, so it has the negative slope. Okay. This one is less than or equal to. So less than means we shade below, right? And greater than means we shade above. So we're shading below the one with a positive slope, okay? Because it's less than. So below the one with a positive slope. And then greater than, so we're going to shade above the one with a negative slope, okay? So above the one with a negative slope. So below the one with a positive slope, above the one with a negative slope. And look at this. The answer is where the shading meets. So in this case, the shading meets here. It's this purple region. And it looks like that would be choice C. That's it.